All right, so today we're actually not working on a car, um, but rather uh, my computer here. Now, what's going on with this is I'm starting to have issues with the battery swelling. Um, I now had this uh, problem with the other Dell laptop that I had before. And the way I first noticed it was the touchpad is going to become difficult to use. And what I mean by that is right now it clicks fine. You know, I have no problems pressing it in. It, but what's gonna happen when I turn on the computer or, and when I start using it is uh, the battery is going to start swelling uh, once it gets up to temperature and then it's going to start to bulge this lip out right here. So, and apparently this seems to be a pretty common problem among, among Dell computers. So what I thought I'd do is replace the battery before it gets any worse and might as well make a video about it. Now, as I let this warm up, I'll show you the battery. So this is the battery that I got. I just got it on Amazon. Um, I don't know who makes it. It doesn't make it really matter. But I did not get an OEM one even though they are, they are similarly priced. Um, again, because the OEM batteries tend to have a problem with this swelling. Um, this one is, don't know who made it, but you can, you can just basically go on Amazon or eBay and look for this right here. So the, you see the battery type here, it says 1F22N. So just Google search that and you'll find the one that you need. Alright, so now that I let this computer run for a little bit longer, um, you can start to see what's the problem here. So. I guess if you zoom in, and I'll try my best to show it, is this touchpad is starting to bow out in the center here. And also, see, and you can see this is where it should be, and this is kind of where it is now. Also, the effort that it takes to press this is going to get increasingly more difficult. Now, at this point, it's still not bad, but sometimes when I was using this computer, if I use it long enough, um, Basically, I, I can't force myself to click this. So anyway, that's the kind of the telltale sign that you might be having the same problem. Good thing is, the batteries in these things are really easy to replace. All right, so first things first, obviously make sure you turn your computer off. So I just did that. And you're going to be removing some screws on the back side of this. Now there are Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the bottom. And there are two here as well. One here and one here. And for this, you just need a small enough Phillips. And Harbor Freight just sells a really nice precision screwdriver set for cheap. But um, I don't have that. So I'm going, I have this and this socket just fits in here just to give me a little more leverage so it's not ideal but it should work so again with anything with screws you just want to put pressure um, on the top of this before you start turning just to minimize the risk of cross threading and place your screws in a place where you're not going to lose it and these are all going to be the same size because I've had this off recently just to see how easy it will be. And these three are not going to um, completely remove, but you know, they will loosen enough for you to take the cover off. So they're just going to start spinning and that, that means you um, it's enough for you to move on to the next one. And don't forget there are two screws over here as well. Alright, so now this cover is just going to be held on by a couple of clips and um, it, basically you're just going to have to overcome those and it should lift the rest of the way off. So I'm just going to go a little bit at a time from this corner. So 
get under it. Yeah. That's one and and right now it wouldn't be a bad idea to um, you know clean out any dust um, from here as you see. So now you can see what the problem is a little bit better. And let me zoom into the battery pack. Is that you can see especially along here or the battery pack maybe at an angle the battery pack is starting to swallow and this is what a good battery looks like so you know compared to this you can see there are um, there is a noticeable hump here or well, just all along these cells really um, yeah this is probably the most obvious so anyway so that's the problem and to re or to remove this the rest of the way there are arrows that point to um, where all the screws are and then there is this connector here um, that needs to be undoed for the battery to come out So from looking at this, just seems like the old one is going to pull straight off and you're going to just clip this one in. I don't really see any locking mechanism here that I need to worry about. So. Now, reassembly is just going to be the same thing um, in reverse order. So, put plate, or actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a few of the screws and then install this connector after. And to do that, just push it on there. No, never mind. I'm going to install the connector first, actually. So, and the connector, at least in the old one, yeah. So, it lifts off vertically. So, don't try and tug on it like I did try and like I did first, instead pull up and I guess that's what this um, dangle cable is so whenever you try and do it use this strap and pull up this way vertically so. so new batteries in place And when, whenever you go and, you know, put these screws back in, just, you know, um, finger tight is good. No need to put a lot of force behind it. Just make sure they bottom out and call that good. Now, um, just pop the cover back on. It'll clip on, and again, there are uh, six, nine screws on the bottom and two on the top. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start these first. Again, just bottom them out. And then I'm going to install these screws back in. No, I'm not. Um, I'm actually going to start these two. Just so that um, the screws for these holes will be better aligned. So no worries if you hear any popping or whatever. Those are just the tabs clicking back into place.
and just like that you are done now the battery manufacturer um, suggests to um, when you first install this to fully charge it and then fully discharge it um, before you know starting your regular charge cycle so I'm, I'll just do that and you should be good to go now you can notice back here that the touch pad is nice and easy to use again and yep that'll do it good luck